Hi, I'm Monique Nathu. I'm one of the service coaches for Auckland Libraries. Uh, kia ora, ko Merle Edmondson tāko ingoa. Um, I'm the general manager of libraries and information for Auckland Libraries. What does it mean to lead in a design leader organisation? Uh, I think the what it means is to let go of stuff. Um, my experience has been having to let go of control. So you're less in the driving seat and more in a kind of a coaching seat, which is kind of pretty uncomfortable at times. Um, you know, if we want to uh, support innovation, support ide ideation, support um, uh, people to be able to uh, explore uh, new ways of thinking, then actually the right conditions, the right affordances, um, the right uh, and those mindsets are needed to lead that, lead that type of work. Uh, it's about empowering other people to step into a space where they genuinely want to understand need. So whether it's people leaders understanding what their staff, the learning journey their staff are going to be on if they are learning the skills, um, or And it's also about the staff themselves having to let go because they're having to learn what the community needs. So there's kind of the, all these layers to it. You can hit kind of roadblocks or, or speed bumps. It's not a prescribed journey. Even when we began this whole design leadership, we started with a fairly unhelpful workshop, which we then had to back away from and go, whoa, that didn't work. Let's start again. Like, well, if we're genuine about this, we don't just pretend that that worked. <laughs> However much it might have been quite... Um, it might have been easier on my ego if we'd done that, but uh, it wouldn't have been very real or genuine, you know, or um, productive. So, yeah, you've got to be prepared to recognise where things have gone wrong and, and be prepared to recalibrate and re it can be that stepping back and allowing that space. It's it takes a lot of vulnerability and risk and and really letting go to be able to let uh, the space have the space there for others to feel empowered, to feel enabled, um, to feel like you're enabling their heart. And uh, for me, if you think about leadership on a continuum, where there's kind of very um, facilitative. Uh, consultative at one end and then directive at the other end. Design leadership would probably sit towards the facilitative end but with very very clear outcomes around learning and around discovery and around uh, skill building. We, we can't be in the telling end. Uh, if we're in the telling end then we're assuming that we know best for the community and in Auckland right now with such a diverse and growing community, that's not the place for us to be. In the community now, libraries are really seen as a hub. Mm -hmm. um, we have you know, all parts of the community um, using our library, and so what, is, what does a library actually mean for the community? And so we've really taken that sort of radically local approach, which is um, let's really work with our communities, our local communities, to d design services, design our spaces, um, that really fit their needs. You know, for many of our people leaders, they work in a community library, out in the community. You know, they're managers isolated from their peers. They're often the fix-it person. They know how to run a site. They know how to run their library. And suddenly they were being asked, instead of being the fix-it person, to actually be the take on a more of a coaching role and help the staff members solve their own problem. And that was a, that's been a really big turnaround. And you know, it's been a challenge. So it's a bit of a, I guess an onion effect. Um, we're supporting this sort of design leadership for the people leaders, and then that's um, moving on to the team members, and then that's moving on to um, a group who are looking at what does co-design look like um, in the future for Auckland Library. So that real emergent leadership that's coming along. We've heard of people who have taken quite courageous steps to reach out to communities that they may have felt uh, 
nervous to, to approach and then as a result of understanding what they need, um, being able to develop with them some real um, valuable connections and results. So, you know, that, that's been very reassuring. Other projects or, or initiatives have not gone anywhere and people have learnt that their assumptions about what a community might want or need from us is actually only an assumption and when tested doesn't have any relevance. So actually that's an efficiency right there. We had some expos that were run um, in, in a local board area and um, really uh, tying into social services and for the community some of them had never been exposed to any of these services so there we go you know uh, libraries were a bit of a conduit for that uh, we are uh, emotional roller coaster vibe in a positive way like it's jumping off that cliff and really seeing where you know the journey will take you once you've jumped, jumped off that cliff. And it's all about that thing about letting go and trusting that that if you give people enough guidance about the outcome and the direction that uh, we will get there.